The recorded legend of Sweeney Todd was first published in cheap weekly prints known as Penny Dreadfuls. It consists of a barber, Sweeney Todd, and a baker, Mrs. Lovett, who would make their money by packing meat pies that contained an unconventional source of protein. There's a rumor you make your burgers with human remains from the crematorium next door. The story has since been told through newsprint, stage performances, and most recently a big-budget Tim Burton film, but I'm not here today to talk about any of those. Instead, I would like to present to you the 1936 feature, Sweeney Todd, The Demon Barber of Fleet Street. The narrative begins in a modern, well, modern for 1936, barber shop. A man sits happily in the chair, ready to relax during a good shave. The client spots an odd picture on the wall and questions the barber on its relevance. The barber then becomes oddly excited as he begins to spin the tale of the infamous Sweeney Todd. In this version, there is no build-up or backstory. We get the impression that Todd and Mrs. Lovett have been up to their money-making schemes for quite some time, but they are having a bit of a falling out. You see, Mr. Todd has a thing for the ladies, and as soon as he steals from his victims, he turns around and spends both his money and Mrs. Lovett's share on the women he's chasing. Todd is particularly infatuated with one woman in particular, but she longs after a young man who must seek his fortune and able to win her father's approval. This young man goes out to sea and inherits a dying sailor's riches. Upon returning, Todd attempts to dispose of this young suitor and take his money the way he does to all his other rich customers. The young man sits in Todd's special chair that has a trap door dropping him into the basement. The unhappy and underpaid Mrs. Lovett, however, decides to let the young man escape to later try and expose Sweeney Todd as the murderer he is. For a story as fascinating as Sweeney Todd, this film was actually quite boring. Some major elements were left out. At no time did it show the killings, and it barely even alluded to the fact that they were cut up and sold as food. A great deal of the acting was very hard to watch. Oh, Miss Joanna, oh, such good news. What is it, man? The Golden Hope is in. And Mr. Markham, my family is safe and sound. No. And the movie even tried to end on a cheesy punchline. But the worst, worst, worst thing about this film was the music. What I can only describe as stock Little Rascals music played on a loop for the first seven minutes of the film and then would periodically show up throughout. My hope is that the version I own isn't the original cut, because it seems with a few minor changes it could have been an okay movie. So what are your thoughts? Do you know any good versions of this film floating around? If so, let us know in the comments or come say hello in our Discord. As always, Happy Halloween, Chaz! Be off with you.